Let me show you something really interesting. Here's a lock. It doesn't look like much, does it? But, I want to show you something special about this. This is a system called construction keying. How does that work? This is not a very good lock, but that doesn't matter. We're going to show you how this works. These are two keys. They are not the same keys. Alright. What we're going to do is show you this. This is the construction key. This is the key that builders use to go into your property. During the construction process, their key goes in. And it works pretty well. It's a little bit sticky, but that's okay. It works fine. Let's see? Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use my owner's key. It works fine. But, when I take the builder's key and I try to stick it back in here, it doesn't work anymore. I wonder why. Let me explain to you how master keying, or sorry, construction keying works. Let's take this lock apart and see what's going on. As you probably already know, with any pin tumbler lock, we have driver pins on the top and springs, and we have key pins on the bottom. When the key is correct, it corresponds to the actual various lengths of the pins, and if it is correct, what happens is that those pins will go arrive to the shear line and the lock will open. If the key is not correct, the pins will not go to the shear line, and hence the lock will not open. Let's show you how that works. Let's turn the key. Take the lock apart. Cool. You take a look at C. You see this right here? If I had the key and it's a correct one, you see all the pins align. If I don't have the right key, even if it is one position, you see this position is too low, this lock will not open. Or if the position was too high, this will prevent the key from turning. Now, how does construction keying work? I don't know if you notice this, but there's actually a ball bearing right over here. Pretty clever little thing, isn't it? Let's dump it out. This ball bearing. How does it work? I'm going to put this in the third position. What you'll notice is that if I take this key and compare it to this other key, the top one right here is going to be the construction key, and this one is going to be on the bottom. It's the renter or the uh, homeowner's key. The homeowner's key is always going to work for the lock. All right, but before that, we have the construction key. The construction key, the reason why it works is because we have a ball bearing right here. Oh. What happens is that it should not fall out. Obviously, it would not if it were actually inside of the lock body. Cool. As you can tell, we have a nice little ball bearing there. Okay. This ball bearing is going to allow, allow the pins to actually allow this position to actually align with the shear line, and the lock will turn. As soon as I remove this key, I'm going to take the ball bearing out of here. All right. What happens is that I will use this other key right here. And what will happen is if I can actually show you this, the ball bearing will be over here. Okay. Pretend that's in the third position. And what will happen is that as I turn it, you see that hole right there? There's those, you see those holes? The ball bearing will fall into one of those holes whichever one of them, it doesn't really matter. And what will happen is that when it falls into there, the key will continue turning. And when it continues turning, the spring will actually push it further. And then afterwards, what will happen is that the ball bearing will no longer be there inside of the pin stack. And when you try to insert this builder's key, you see that the third position will not be filled. And then afterwards, the driver pin will actually fall into there and not open the lock just to show you that again let's put this back inside put the clip back on top show you this key is the builder's key it works perfectly homeowner's key as soon as that goes in 
and turns, you'll hear a click. Hear that click? That ball bearing just fell into one of those holes, and because of that, this key will still continue to turn. But, again, there's nothing filling in that little area for the pin stack, and because of this, the key will not turn. This is what we call construction keying. Thanks for watching, and please keep it legal.